Hi, I'm David Lake, president and founder of One Iron Golf. Today I'd like to talk to you about the differences between conventional and single length irons. Got a lot of interesting stuff to share with you, so don't go away, we'll be right back. Conventional irons. Let's talk about club length. Now you've all probably got a set of conventional irons in your garage, so you know what I'm talking about. Each iron is a half inch longer than the one before. In other words, a seven iron is a half inch longer than an eight iron. Typically, a uh, pitching wedge is 36 inches in club length, whereas a three iron is 39 inches in club length. And there again, it's a half inch incremental length increase from the, say, the pitching wedge all the way up to the three iron. Club head angle. Now what we're talking about is the angle between the shaft and the sole of the club head. That is your club head angle. Now in a conventional set of irons, in order to compensate for the length increase, what they do, they flatten the lie angle by one half of a degree incrementally from the pitching wedge all the way up to the three iron. Uh, so number one, you've got a pitching wedge, it's got an upright lie angle. And you've got a three iron, it's got a very flat lie angle. That's what we're talking about there. But that is supposed to compensate for the increase in club length. Because as we know, when you've got a wedge in your hand, you've got a very upright swing plane. And when you've got a three iron in your hand, you've got a much, much flatter swing plane. Club head weight. In a conventional set of irons, each club head weighs differently. Now, for instance, a typical three iron club head weighs 233 grams, whereas a typical sand wedge club head will weigh 296 grams. And these are incrementally weighted, seven gram increments, weight increase from the three iron all the way down to the wedge. So for instance, your eight iron weighs seven grams more than the seven iron club head, which there again increases the weight of the club itself all the way down to the set. Let's talk about shaft flex. Regardless of what the shaft band on your golf shaft says, regular flex, stiff flex, whatever it says, every iron within your set has a different shaft flex. First of all, let me mention, depending on the brand of the shaft, one brand's R-Flex might be the same as another brand's S-Flex, might be the same as another brand's Senior Flex. So right off the bat, there's no standardization in the golf industry as to what shaft flex actually is. When you get a set of conventional irons, every shaft has a different flex. How does that come about? The way you stiffen a shaft, this is a raw shaft, the way you stiffen a shaft is to tip trim it. The more you tip trim it, the stiffer that shaft's going to be. Now, in a conventional three iron, you might have a zero inch tip trim, nothing. But then you get to the four iron, they tip trim one half an inch. Five iron, they tip trim one inch. Six iron, one and a half inch. And so on and so forth until you get down to the wedges, which, you know, this much of that tip is gone. Now, just to prove it to yourself, Go out in your garage, grab your three or four iron, whatever your longest club is, grab it on each end, right at the butt end of the grip and right on the club end and give it a bend. And then do the same thing with your pitching wedge. When you're doing it with your three or four iron, it'll feel like you're flexing a buggy whip. But when you try to bend that pitching wedge, it'll feel like you're trying to flex a two by four. And that's a big deal because not only is the shaft flex different throughout the set for every iron, that means the feel is completely different for every iron throughout the set. When you swing that club, it's not gonna feel the same whatsoever. Now at the end of the day, what does all this add up to? Every club in your bag is going to be different. It's different lengths, different club head angle, different club head weight, different shaft flex, different feel. Does that equate to consistent ball striking? Can you develop consistent ball striking throughout the set with a set of conventional irons? 
And the answer is no, it's impossible. You've got 10 different irons in your bag, you've got 10 different swings. You've got 10 different address positions and don't forget the ball position. You've got 10 different ball positions, both rearward, forward, front, back, 10 different ball positions. You've got a different swing, you've got a different swing plane, different amount of weight shift, everything is completely different from iron to iron to iron. So how are you going to develop consistency? The answer is you can't. And when you get a set off the rack, bear in mind those the, that set is there for somebody that's six foot two or five foot two. Are you going to try to tell me that those that set's going to fit anybody and improve their play? And the answer is no, it's not going to happen. Now you're going to get the guy said, so, well, you know, I got custom fitted last year and I spent $2,000, got a brand new set of custom fitted irons and man, I play them great. I smoke the ball. And we all know people who had this done. Well, what's true? In their mind's eye, they're trying to justify the expense. So they say, oh, I'm killing the ball, I'm hitting the ball, and they might believe it. But the fact is, when you watch them play, it's the same guy you've been playing with for years. Nothing's changed. His handicap never goes down. Everything's always the same. And you've got to remember this too. When you get a set of conventional irons that don't fit anybody, try to guess what, you're going to learn how to hit them just through playing a lot or practicing, whatever, you're going to learn how to hit them. I mean, the fact of the matter is, if you want to spend the time like professionals do, you could learn how to play a set of croquet mallets and shoot par. And that's what you do. You learn how to hit them. What happens when you learn how to hit them? You've got to develop these weird swings, these awkward swings that you see on the golf course every day. I mean, they're laughable. You'll go out there and your buddy's sitting there, one guy's chopping wood. The other guy's swinging around like Mickey Mantle at, the, at home plate. But these swings are ridiculous. Don't laugh at the guys. These are the swings they had to develop for clubs that never fit them in the first place. And if you get custom fitted, here's what happens. You walk in the door to the custom fitting studio. And they'll say, okay, pull out your seven iron, hit five shots into that net. Now pull out your five iron, hit five shots into that net, and so, so on and so forth. You see where I'm going here. And they build you a custom set based upon this weird swing you walked in the door with. So at the end of the day, after you've spent a couple grand, you walk out the door with a brand new set of clubs that don't even come close to fitting you properly. So when it comes to conventional irons, the idea of improving your consistent solid ball contact, I don't know. What can I say? Okay, single length irons. And I'm going to use an example, our irons, one irons. You've got the exact same club length throughout the set. Bear in mind it's custom fitted to you based upon your wrist to floor measurement. And believe me, that formula is correct the irons will fit you perfectly. So they're all the same length. They all have the same lie angle. There's no reason to change the lie angle because the club length never changes. And the lie angle we use is 63 and a half degrees. Now that's the typical lie angle you will see on a nine iron, eight iron, somewhere in there. But our research has proven over the years, it's the ideal club head lie angle that forces you into the ideal swing posture, the ideal swing plane. It's, it forces you into that position, okay? Then, like I say, we fit that club head angle to you based on club length. Club head weight's all the same throughout the set. Shaft flex is exactly the same throughout the set. The club, total club weight is exactly the same throughout the set. So at the end of the day, it doesn't make any difference which iron you pull out of the bag. It's just like all the other irons. I mean, everything is exactly the same. Feels exactly the same. Everything is the same. You only have to learn one swing. That's it. Now, it's pretty easy to learn one swing. If you've got a conventional set, you better learn 10 different swings. 10 different ball positions, 10 different weight shifts, 10 didn't everything. Instead of one irons, you learn one. And that gets so deeply ingrained, it becomes scary. 
And for instance, if you're on the 18th fairway and you're hitting your approach shot, God news, this is your 26th mulligan. Why? Because you've hit that shot 25 times that day. Regardless which iron you pulled out on any given hole, it's been the same iron. The only difference being that loft angle. It's the only difference. Other than that, it's the same iron. So on the 18th approach shot, this is like your 26th mulligan. You can't get more consistent in ball striking than that. It is impossible. At the end of the day, this is what you got to look at. What's going to improve your game? Well, ball striking consistency is going to improve anybody's game. There's no question about that. So you guys decide. Conventional irons for me going to improve my game or single length irons. Is that going to improve my game? Make up your mind. I won't give you one caveat here. We've been in business for 25 years and that's all we've ever done is build single length sets of iron. This is based on years of research before I even started the company. But that's all we do. Now what I have found, there's a number of companies out there that have come out in the single length market, so to speak, and they promote, well, we sell these single length irons. Well, they don't. Because in most cases that I have seen, the brands that I have seen, they'll have varying shaft flex. They'll have varying club head lie angles, even though the club lengths remain the same, they'll have varying club head lie angles. In a set of one irons, we have an exact four degree loft angle progression between each iron within a set. Why do we do that? Very simple. If you're using the exact same swing with the exact same ball position, you've got the exact same power with every iron in the bag, then if you have an exact four degree loft angle progression between irons, you're going to have an exact yardage gap between each club. Now that's impossible to achieve with a conventional set of irons because they do not have the same loft angle progression. In a set of conventional irons, you might have a two degree loft angle change between the four and five iron. You might have a six degree loft angle change between say the nine iron and pitching lanes. They're all over the place. You can't develop it. And some of these so-called single length sets that I have seen on the market, actually most of them, that's the same way. Their loft angle progressions are ridiculous. These are supposed to be sets where everything is the same from club to club to club. But yet they'll have, again, a two degree loft angle progression between say a four and five and maybe a four degree loft progression here, five degree loft progression here. Bear that all in mind. When you go out to get a single length set, get a single length set. Don't get something that's trying to be a, a hybrid between conventional irons and single length irons just because the fact that the conventional iron market is bigger and these companies want to appeal to those conventional golfers. Bear that in mind. Now it's just up to you. You make up your mind. You want conventional set of irons to improve your game or single length set of irons to improve your game? It's up to you. <laughs> hey, thank you very much for watching and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button before you tune out. Thank you.